If you've seen 3D printed implants before, you're probably used to those that include gyroids, lattices, other open internal structures, um, usually intended for surgeons to be able to like pack bone graft inside to facilitate that bone ingrowth and patient healing. However, the surface roughness may actually be even more important than those geometrical features. I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Media. I'm here at Marl Tangible in Fairborn, Ohio. They are a contract manufacturer specializing in 3D printed titanium implants, mostly for the spine. They use these laser powder bed fusion machines behind me to print 50,000 of these implants per year. But here's the thing, they don't design implants here. They're a contract manufacturer, so they are receiving the designs from their customers, but there's still some engineering work that needs to be done, and that includes manipulating the surface roughness. So using N topology, they are able to change the depth and the frequency of the roughness to tune it into exactly what the customer wants. They do that by manipulating a couple of variables, including the depth and the frequency of the roughness. It's possible to tune different areas of the part in different ways. Um, maybe the interior of the implant needs to be more open because you wanna pack more bone graft inside, whereas the exterior can be more smooth, maybe because you're gonna be attaching other types of hardware to it. You can even add that roughness to those other geometric features like lattices in order to increase uh, the surface area and help with those patient outcomes even further. From the 3D printer's perspective, it looks like any other type of geometry. There's nothing that has to change with the printer in order to create those different surface textures. All of this is meant to contribute to better patient outcomes. So reducing the number of surgeries, limiting the amount of um, repeat operations that might need to happen and helping patients heal more quickly. But there's also some serious manufacturing benefits from being able to tune and design exactly the surface finish that you want. So if you were going to machine these implants and then try to apply the surface finish afterwards, that would be another process. It would be an acid etching process, maybe a plasma spray process. It would be an additional step. And with additive manufacturing, it can all be 3D printed at the same time that you are creating the bulk of the part. The other advantage of engineering the surface roughness in software is that additive manufacturing is a digital process. Every time one of these machines makes that part, they're gonna be pulling from exactly the same file. And so the surface roughness, along with the entire part design, is going to be repeatable, part after part, time after time. If you'd like to learn more about Marl Tangible, see some of our past reporting on this company as they have developed from a startup all the way through their recent 10 year anniversary. We have lots more information about them on additivemanufacturing.media or see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.